Greetings. It's my great pleasure to again come before you. Today is December 7th. It is my birthday. I'm 92 years old today. And tomorrow, December 8th, is the Feast of the Immaculate Conception of Our Lady. I'd like to explain the meaning of that today. It is even more uh, meaningful to me because of the beautiful church in downtown Los Angeles where I served so many years. The name of the church is Immaculate Conception Church, named after the conception of Our Lady by her mother Anna with her father Joachim. This is a celebration not known in many other churches or used, but in our case, it's very special due to the fact that so much of my life was lived in that beautiful church. The parents of Blessed Virgin Mary are named Anna and Joachim. Joachim is the Hebrew or uh, the ancient way of saying it. It's also called Joaquin in Spanish. Uh, it's important to know that because, and I love to take you all down to the church and see it, or if you're nearby, go look at it too. It's one of the most beautiful art places in the world. It has a picture behind the altar of the Assumption of Our Lady into Heaven, painted in 1575 by Murillo. It also has, to the left of the altar, one of the few examples of Anna, the mother of Blessed Virgin Mary. And it shows Anna with Mary here to this side of her, and she's holding the Bible, and she's saying, Mary, I want you to study this. And that's so interesting because it's as if the Holy Spirit is teaching her to prepare Mary for the fact that she will be the mother of Jesus the second person of the Trinity, our Savior. And she is the one who will have so many sufferings as well as joys. She will be there at the cross when he's being crucified. And she and the Apostle John are with her. And one of Jesus' last seven words are, Mary, behold your son, behold your child. And John Behold your mother. And he said this not just to John, but to all of us. All of us. Look at Mary. She's your spiritual mother. She's the one who will look after you and your family and always be with you. But this very rare occasion, the Immaculate Conception, which is observed once a year, December 8th, just a few days before Christmas, the birth of our Lord, is put there so we understand that God chose Mary, but he also chose beautiful parents for her, a father and a mother who would bring her up with deep faith. And so the last, uh, every day the priest reads the Magnificat, the beautiful prayer of Our Lady, which she uses to explain the joy that she unworthy as I am, she says, is chosen to be the mother of Jesus. So thank you very much, and let us all be peaceful and celebrate tomorrow the birth of Our Lady, who will be the mother of Jesus. Thank you.